Nick, I know, I know you hate the loss, but how good did it feel to be back out there with the guys? Yeah, like you said, it was a tough loss, but it felt amazing just be back, back out there, especially in front of our fans. Um, you know, they embraced me, and it, was, it felt great out there. What do you feel like you need to continue to do to, to get opportunities within the rotation? I mean, I just got to be ready when my name is called, you know. That's kind of the situation that I'm in. So wherever I am, if I'm in Long Island, if I'm here with the team, I just got to, you know, do my best and continue to develop. Getting from Kenny or from Sean Fine or for any of the coaches? Um, they all have been giving me great feedback. Um, in Long Island, I've been I've been solid, and you know that's what that's what they want, from, especially from a young guy like me who they're really trying to develop. So I'm just doing the best that I, best that I can with that. The biggest thing you've gotten out of your recent uh, trips to Long Island is with your game. It just it just keeps you sharp. Um, we run the same things over there in Long Island, so. I just work on the things that me and um, Trayvon, we talk about all the time. So it's like just keeping those those tools sharp. Was there anything I guess you saw from what Milwaukee was doing that allowed you to take advantage of the way you were able to? Yeah, the way they, they guarded um, the pick and roll, they were sitting back. So they gave, gave me a lot of space to attack. So I was just taking what the game gave me. What kind of things have you, Trayvon, been working on specifically? Like is it footwork, is it just like upper butt? Like what kind of stuff has um, he been pushing? Uh, with the setting screens, that's big. That's something that we take a lot of pride in here, just setting screens, not letting the guards get under the screens so the, the guards have space to, you know, operate and just keeping my hands ready when I'm rolling and defensively just making sure I'm communicating. What do you try to concentrate on now that you're going to get a chance because who knows how long DeAndre might be out for? Um, just my overall game. Like I said, just communicating and just continuing to get better while I'm out there. You know, while I'm out there, continuing to get better. Um, there was a, like, I can count a few plays where I gave up some threes today and just being locked in on the scout report at all times. Speaking of threes, how's was, how was yours coming along? Oh, I've been working on it. Um, I didn't take any today, but I might, I might take a, <laughs> I might take a few. I'm going to take a few. Yeah. You took, you hit, you hit two, right, the other day yeah. in the G League game. Yeah. I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm, I'll take some. I'm not really stressing it, but I'm, I'm going to get some up, though. You know, to play against a guy like uh, Giannis. Yeah, they were really solid. You got to give credit to them. Like, they cover all their bases, and um, they take advantage of, of mistakes. And that's the reason they're the best team in the league right now. So, um, But it's good. It's a good confidence booster, I guess. If you look at a guy like Brook Lopez, who started as a traditional five, and now, you know, can also shoot the three. Is that, he didn't hit any tonight, but is that kind of the model of what you want to be when it's all said and done? Just like a, just a guy that can bang down low and shoot threes. I'm not. Uh, Bro Lopez, he's solid, extremely solid. But um, I like I like the way he can stretch the floor. Yeah, that's something I want to be able to imp implement in my game. But there's a lot of things that I bring to the table. You know, we're different. But.